<laughs> the real uh, Will Wood um, is something that we hear about uh, quite a bit. Who is the real Will, Will Wood to you? No. Just no. <laughs> Just no, Rob. No. Uh, right. Don't. Don't. The answer is no. I, I knew it. The answer is just no. I knew the answer would be no. and Dukes, Dunnell in New Jersey. Uh, tonight we got a show going on, and uh, it's a benefit. Yes, it is. BBRF, I'm really bad with acronyms. Uh, what does that stand for, and why did you choose uh, this particular uh, charity? The Brain and Behavior Research Foundation is uh, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, mental health charities out there benefiting the, uh, the research of the subject. Um, and over the course of their tenure, they've raised over $300 million for the top researchers in the field of psychiatric health. And uh, it's important to me because I think that, I mean, almost everybody, if not actually everybody, either knows someone or is someone who has dealt with mental illness or some kind of mental health disorder. And so I think it's really important that we address not only the... the uh, uh, the stigma against psychiatric illness, but also, um, oh, I don't know. It's kind of, I guess it's it's just a matter of, I think that, um, I think a lot of, uh, how do I put this in my head? Sounds like real life. Um, sorry, I'm drawing a blank right now. I mean, it's because I care about it. It's because I myself have been diagnosed with a slew of things, acronyms, and fun little titles that I can give myself. You know, OCD, BPD, ADHD, GAD, you know. Um, and it's... Uh, I don't know, it's, it's something that affects everyone, so I guess yeah. I, I care about it because it affects me a lot, and I have been very, very crazy in my day, and if it weren't for, God bless, Lamictal, Lamictal, I uh, might still be crazy. Okay. It's been sad before, and the highest truths, the highest teachings, and the ultimate reality is beyond what can be said. Tell us, tell us a little bit about the uh, album that we're releasing here. Oh, I would love to. Okay, The Real is a 21-track live record featuring uh, a nine-piece big band and some new tunes, some old tunes played in some new ways, and um, it was recorded at a couple of sold-out shows uh, last year, and uh, it's so big that it can't all fit on the CD. Um, so a few tunes that are brand new are going to be only available online and the rest is going to be available on CD um, and online, obviously. Um, but anywhere music is sold or streamed or downloaded, it's Spotify, iTunes, all that jazz. Um, so I am really excited about it because I've been told before that my, that my performance is, you know, it's, that my music is something to be seen live, that, you know, it's, it's I'm, I'm best live. And um, I figured, you know, it would be a good thing to share that with people then, people who couldn't otherwise make it to a show, because we've been trapped on the East Coast for so long. And um, 
Uh, I've, you know, I have a problem with concerts. I always say I hate concerts and I like shows. Because concerts are fucking boring. They just are. If I wanted to, like, just listen to a band play an album, I'd pop in my earbuds and listen to it on my phone and not spend $60 to go to a big room with a bunch of loud, drunk people and stand all night. Um, and so they have to be offering something that's totally different. Otherwise, I don't want anything to do with it. So it's always been really important to me to try and make sure that my live performances are different from my studio recordings, that there's a different difference between a movie and a play, uh, a record and a live performance. And because you might be telling the same story in the movie as you are in the play, but it's got to be a very different experience, it's a direct, more direct experience. And But if you're just going to see this band and they're just mimicking what's on the record, uh, it's, I've seen it before. I saw some independent theater do a production of Sweeney Todd and the whole thing was a Tim Burton ripoff. And I was like, I've seen this before. Um, and so uh, I guess uh, it's, it's a matter of trying to capture that a little bit and try and share with people, hey, this is a different thing. It's going to be a different uh, thing every time. I want to give people the experience of what it's like to actually kind of be at uh, one of our shows a little bit. Um, Absolutely. And I've had the pleasure to see you live uh, at least once before, and uh, I would definitely agree with that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, I try anyway. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Okay. Uh -oh. So we're going to do something uh, that's never been done. I, I don't wear makeup too often. No? I'm surprised. Television appearances, maybe. You would look beautiful with uh, like a dark like eggplant colored lipstick. <laughs> Where do I get off being so goddamn beautiful? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. But I think it's unfair of you to do it. Next topic, why I'm fucking with your face. Well, I mean, I like to just uh, do like conversational pieces. So, I mean, really, what's going on in your mind? Um, this mostly. I'm stressed out. Uh, all I do is sit in my office um, a couple miles from the BL England uh, refinery um, in Egg uh, Harbor, New Jersey. Um, this beautiful uh, coal refinery with a uh, a sulfur scrub, scrubber uh, disguised as a lighthouse. Um, it's a bad disguise because the whole town, 10 mile radius around it, reeks of rotten eggs and the smell of sulfur. Right, right. Um, so I've locked myself in this sulfur stink hotel where uh, I sit at a computer and send out emails and respond to emails and send out emails pretty much a good 12 hours of every day um, not interacting with the outside world at all uh, and chugging iced coffee um, and it's uh, it's a nice life I'm a raging workaholic it keeps the thoughts at bay as long as I keep thinking about emails I don't have to worry about the real world, you know, like a Trump voter. Right. So, um, <laughs> what are emails? Um, so, uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing recently. Well, you really do, uh, I mean, you're a do-it-yourself uh, sort of guy, right? You don't have anybody else really I mean, I've, I've got a booking agent, but I try to do as much as I can myself just because I... I enjoy it, um, and also that way I don't have to share as much money with people. That's a good point. Now, I mean, for um, you know, other upcoming acts and other bands that are out there, what would you say is that the approach to take? You think? Yes, absolutely. You can't sit around waiting for somebody to scoop you up and whisk you away, take you off your feet, and take you to Hollywood. You know, uh, as much as I wish that were the case, and I grew up dreaming of the day that some super big wig hotshot would show up at the bitter end in New York City and sign me on the spot. Oh, Will, someday you're going to be discovered. You don't get discovered anymore. 
it, you know? That's not how it works. Nobody's, nobody's uh, you know, getting their start at sidewalk in Greenwich Village because some um, record executive, our a r guy, just stumbled into the open mic one day. No fucking way. Yeah. Um, it's all, uh, you know, so if you sit around waiting for, like, this perfect thing to happen and the best thing possible to happen, nothing's going to happen, yeah. you know? It's better to... Uh, risk making something that sucks happen than not making anything happen and that's I think been like kind of the uh, cornerstone of my entire uh, career so far has been okay um, I'm gonna just hope it doesn't suck and make something um, and be willing to suck. suck. <laughs> thank you. Um, it's amazing. Thank you. Um, but yeah, that's what it's, that's, I think it's really important to take the risk of doing something you don't know how to do and doing it wrong than it is to wait and hope for somebody else to teach you how to do it. Because nobody will unless you can do it yourself first, you know what I mean? Um, so I think that the, that uh, taking a DIY approach is really important. And destroying his face! It's, I've ruined it! Happen. It was perfectly good before, and now he looks like garbage! Well, the first you time look I like did. a cannibal! from space. <laughs> That's right, Space Cannibals. Probably a B-movie out there somewhere. Oh, I'm certain of it. <laughs> Choose your own adventure, sure. Fifty Shades of Grey. It could be. Sometimes you know what? I'm into it. <laughs> I'm not into it. Don't quote me on it. Don't. Okay. don't. <laughs> yeah, no, there's, there's quotations on there. Um, well, awesome, man. Hey, I just wanted to chat, man. That was really, really about it. Anything else we should know about? Um, we're going on tour. Uh, we're starting our first line of full band tours next... No, this month. Holy shit. Um, it is. We're going to be hitting Pennsylvania, New York, Delaware, Virginia, Ohio, Jersey. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I uh, am really looking forward to it. I, um, I wish I'd had more to say. I wish I had like had some like eloquent and insightful bullshit to spout off and make myself seem like this super smart uh, artistic visionary, but unfortunately I'm really not on my game verbally as of late. No, I, I, think, think, I think it's fantastic. I'm off my medication. We're going on tour soon. You guys have made. Uh, I have a job now. So thank you. Now, earlier on, I was saying that you people have saved me from self destruction. You've also saved me from Macy's. He looks like a ghost. That's what I was going for. I really just destroyed this poor man's <laughs> face. You look. Insane. That's right. Well, tell everybody where they can check you out online. Uh, at Tapeworms Music, at The Real Will Wood on Instagram. Uh, that's also Tapeworms Music on Snapchat. Uh, Will Wood and the Tapeworms.com is the number one place where you can get tickets, see event information. Uh, and um, uh, if you sign up for my Patreon, you get all kinds of super cool stuff that nobody else gets.
uh, which is pretty neat. Um, and uh, yeah, facebook.com slash Wood the Turp, 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 Like us on there and you'll get all the fun stuff and sign up for the newsletter. Stay in the loop. I don't know. I feel like I'm just talking a lot of shit. The whole, uh, the whole music industry is on social media now, so like I'm trying to, I'm trying to like list my entire existence. Hey, it's, it's worth it. DyingScene.com. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, of course, dude. Awesome. I gotta check out my face. <laughs> yeah, you do. I'm and then you need to wash it off. <laughs> There's just like a big dick on your forehead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There is. It's, it's that's that. Yeah, that's happened once. Once? 